Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web, and welcome to another video in my series. Once again, we're hitting the mailbag in two ways. Number one, somebody commented on one of my videos recently that I should just slow down. And they were wonderfully complimentary to me. They were saying, you know, you've got a ton of great information and people want your information and they will listen even if you talk slowly, they'll stick around. So I'm gonna try. It's gonna be a stretch for me, but I'm gonna try to share this video at a less than Ivan speed. In the comments, let us know if it works. The other comment, or the other element from the mailbag was the question, what are your suggestions for managing social media in the shop during the day, during business hours? And I think that's a great question because I think some of us struggle with that behind the chair in terms of wanting to be engaged in online, but recognizing that it's more important to be engaged and present with our clients. So I've got three big tips for those of you out there that are struggling with the challenge of managing your social media in the shop during business. Tip number one, don't. If Nike says just do it, Ivan says, Jatai says, just don't. Put the phone away. Leave the phone in the car. Turn the phone off. Just don't do it. Be 100% present in the shop with your clients. If you use your phone to manage an online booking app to engage with your customers, you're gonna need your phone. If you use your phone to accept credit card payments, you're gonna need your phone. But you don't need to be on the gram, you don't need to be on Twitter, you don't need to be on Facebook. Focus and be in the moment. One of the things I will share with you is, if you're interacting on Facebook to interact with other barbers, please know that the barbers you really wanna interact with they're not online either. They're busy interacting with their customers. The barber who has time to be on his phone is not cutting hair. Know that barber interaction, especially on Instagram, doesn't kick into gear until 9 p.m. When the shop is closed, you've had a chance to go to the gym, you've had a chance to eat dinner, you're chilling, you're on the couch, you get your phone out, that's when the gram takes off and starts smoking. So number one on my list is, just stay off of it. Number two on my list is if you really feel you must, if you engage with clients, it's not just engaging with other barbers in the barber community at large, use automated tools to allow you to schedule posting. Sometimes you'll see tweets from me during the day, during a hair show. I'm not tweeting during a hair show. I'm up to here with busy. I'm in my booth and I'm in classes and I'm shaking hands and kissing babies and doing the things that we do if you see a tweet, chances are I scheduled that tweet. Now, using scheduling apps like Hootsuite or something like that are great tools, but in many ways they run contrary to the point of something like Twitter because something like Twitter is supposed to be very much in the moment. And if you're scheduling your tweets, are they really in the moment? In my case, if a tweet says, hey, it's 10 minutes to 12 and my class is starting in room 235 at the convention center, that's in the moment scheduled for a particular purpose. But if you're reacting to news or communicating with people in a very in the moment way, tweet scheduling is not really what you should be doing. But for those of us for whom it can work, tweet scheduling will take the phone out of your hands during the time that you really should be interacting with clients. So tip number one was just don't. Tip number two is if you gotta, go to a scheduling app. And as you'll notice, these tips are escalating in terms of who they're targeted for. Tip number three is contract it out. If you really must be active on social media during the day when you're supposed to be actively serving customers, maybe it's time to hire somebody to manage your social media. There are businesses that do this. There are coworkers that could do this. There are your 17 year old nephew who could use a couple extra bucks, a slice of cheese pizza and an orange soda in exchange for managing some of your social media. If it comes out of your hands and winds up in someone else's responsibility, you're free to serve your customers. I think the bottom line of all of this advice is be present in what you do and where you do it in the moment and recognize that social media has its place. If it's a social media platform that's in the moment, Find a way to do it in the moment or don't do it at all. And if it's a social media platform like Instagram, do it off of shop time.
Use your phone for your appointment booking. Use your phone for your cash payment, for your credit card payments and things like that. But get your phone and your use of social media compartmentalized where it belongs. I'm Ivan Zoot. I am Clipper Guy for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. Thanks for tuning in to another one of our educational presentations. Keep your questions, comments coming. If you like the speed of this video, let me know. I'm struggling to do it. It's a long video, but I'm talking a lot slower. At least it feels a lot slower to me. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.